as a disclaimer of this video, this video is only possible by being able to use the Yuzu Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Installer made by this person. Thank you for making this installer and making this guide extremely easy with this tool. Thank you very much. And another disclaimer, this guide is also only possible through a moddable Nintendo Switch. If you guys need a guide on how to dump your guys' BIOS files and as well as your game files, that will be linked in the description below. What you're going to want to do first is open the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Installer. You are once again going to disable these two options, click Advanced. Then you're going to want to direct it to a new folder, labeling it any name you want. So in this video I will be naming it Yuzu plus HDR. Opening the directory and copying it. Going into the directory right here, hitting Enter and then clicking install. Before you click the exit button, we're going to go into the directory we just made. We're going to close the meta we're going to delete the maintenance tool exe and as well as the metadata. We're going to open this folder, grab everything in here, move it into here. Rename it to the word user. Then we're going to close it now and hit close again, scroll down, open the yuzu.exe, it's going to say missing keys, that's fine, you're going to click no, tools, install decryption keys, we are going to go to our keys and firmware location, I have my shortcut right here, open the prod.keys file that you have, click OK, Pin the program to your taskbar, close the program, open it up again, go to tools, install firmware, go where your firmware is installed, select folder, and make sure that the folder for where your firmware is, is readable and it has the file names of NCA and not bundled in a zip. Just a quick disclaimer. Once it's done, close again, open, double click, go to where your game is installed. So mine is here. Select folder, go to file, install files to NAND, go where your updates are, Please use the 13.0.2 update of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Anything else will cause the mod to crash or not load or have infinite loading. Install it. Once it's done, we're going to click, to click OK. File. Install files to NAND. Go where your DLC is installed. Control A. Open install. Once it's installed, click OK. Emulation. Configure. Go to Debug. Disable this. Go to System. Change device name to your username. I personally would either add whatever you want. You can add an dash HDR at the end if you want to. I'm not going to. Go to profiles. This is what your account is going to label yourself online. So I would pay attention to this part. I'm going to label this my same username. This is what will be shown as my tag online. Click OK. Delete the Yuzu name. Profile pictures don't matter. Go to network change from none to ether ethernet or wi-fi we're going to go to graphics change back end to vulcan pick your graphics card vsync off orderless window to exclusive full screen advanced accuracy level to normal enable these three options go to your controls 
take out your controller. Max out your range to 100. This is a personal take, but I like it this way. Hit OK. Once the game is configured, we're going to go to File, Open Yuzu Folder. We're going to scroll down into SDMC, delete everything that's in here, make a new folder, press Control plus N. We're going to go to where we downloaded HDR Launcher, link in the description. Open it. Let it install on your computer. If you get a message saying this device or this program is harmful for your PC, click more info on the top left and then click run anyway. After that, you should see a screen like this. Click OK. We are going to be going to where our Yuzu is installed, which is right over here. Copy the directory, which you can do that by clicking anywhere in this gray bar pasting it in the same location, open yuzu.exe. Now it's asking for the SD card. We're going to open user, and we're going to open SDMC, and make sure it says folder SDMC, select folder. It's going to say HDR is not installed. We're going to click install HDR. while this is downloading it would be smart to go where the HDR discord for Yuzu is by going to our discord it's, again link in the description we are wanting to use the Yuzu local latency slider we are going to download the NRO while HDR is also downloading we are going to want to go to the link in the description and copy and paste this code into a certain directory. We're going to want to open Yuzu. File. Open Yuzu folder. Config. Qt config I and I. Open it. Close Yuzu. You're going to want to press Control F, type the word capital W web, find next, scroll down a little bit, highlight from mu.org to web API, copy, paste, Control S to save, close. This allows public lobbies to be accessed. While we are waiting for HDR to finish downloading, I would recommend going into the bots channel and then typing the command OSE. It'll bring up the one slot effects mod for the download. Once HDR's files are installed, click OK. Next, we are going to click Exit. We are going to grab our plugins, open Yuzu plus HDR user, SDMC, atmosphere, contents, smash, ROMFS, skyline, plugins, paste them here, and then next we're going to open Yuzu, we're going to right click, open save data location, we are going to go and put the save file inside the HDR Discord in the pins. Drag and drop it in here. Make sure it says save underscore data with all the files inside like this. You can close Yuzu. Open the HDR launcher. And if you're wondering where it is on your desktop, you can just hit the Windows key, type HDR launcher, one word, and it should open right up. You can hit play, and we can open the game. When 
this message pops up about new mods being detected, we are going to click yes with our mouse. Don't mind this, it's just a visual glitch. This next portion of the tutorial is going to be showing you guys on how the online works for using this emulator. If you are you seeing this unlock screen, you can press Control plus U on the keyboard. This will unlock the frame rate. This will allow you to spam the A button much faster than it would normally. You can press X here, B, X, B, X, B. Set it back to normal. So. We, if you want to play online, we are not going to be clicking this arena button or else we will get this error. You can click with our mouse. What you're going to want to do is click Z on the controller or if you're on Pro Controller, hit ZR, the bumper, or tap fully all the way to the right. Click Local Wireless. I personally would set up my account with the color tag. And so when you're on this screen, hold control, push B, click games I own, high full rooms, join any server that has the words HDR in it. If you're wondering and you're getting this error, that is because we have our password set to this server. And if you join the Yuzu HDR cord, you will be provided with such. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate players, if you're watching this tutorial, please do not join these servers. They are for Hue Draw Remix only, and they are made specifically in mind for them. Please and thank you. Once you have joined the server for the Yuzu room, we are going to create a room. Pick the HDR standard rule set. Pick any stage, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Close the lobby room down to two players if it's a 1v1. Go down to your name tag. I'd enter a new name if I were you. Once you have made a name tag, press Y on your controller. Pick your GameCube controller or Pro Controller if you're using it, and set your controls. And if you're wondering, what is this up here? This is called the Local Latency Slider, and it allows uh, Yuzu Online to be far more superior than its Switch counterpart. The buffer would be the added delay of the game when playing online. And the FPS, if you were to press up on the D-pad, it would change the frame rate of the game to what it's corresponding to. This is machine dependent, so the stronger you p your PC is, the more likelihood you can run the FPS. For my PC, I can run 180 FPS in a match, but I cannot run 240 FPS in a match. What the FPS does is reduces the game's delay down to 3 frames if you're on 120 or 60 plus plus. And this makes this online so much better is because you can play offline delay while playing online. So if you were to look at this chart here, it would correspond to what your delay is. So when I play online, I like to pick 180 FPS at 4 frame delay. What this does is sets the game's delay down to basically Super Smash Bros. Ultimate offline delay, which is natively six frames. Pretty cool, right? After that is done, your friend would join the lobby following all of the same steps and have fun. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I will see you all again later. Goodbye.